Yo, what's good guys? It is your boy Jason JV and um uh, yeah, right when I was about to call it a night, wouldn't you know it? Our man Ryan <laughs> a church that is just uploaded a brand new video which of course we gotta react to. This video being called Stealing Er Heart. Oh, one can only imagine what this must be about. So without further ado, let's get into this, y'all. Because um, this means, odds are, it's going to be some funny shit going on. And uh, yeah, without further ado, I'd like to hit, hit, go. Stop my heart. I'm still in her heart. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> it has something to do with little Miss Ratchety ass. Little Miss Queen nothing. Let's, let's. Let's get into this. I'm still in her heart. <laughs> Fuck, babe. Okay, I gotta stop. I'm still in her heart. No, I don't. Fuck them. Well, let me start by saying I wouldn't be making this video if I didn't want to, but I do. <laughs> Something was brought to my attention the other day by some skin in the comments. And I was like, ain't no fucking way, fucking. And when I seen it, I was like, are you fucking kidding me? Motherfucker! Look, I wouldn't have seen this if Skinnet didn't bring it to me. She brought it to me and I was like, bro, I'm so saying something about this. And you know why I'm making this fucking video? Because I'm sick and fucking tired of helping motherfuckers in the fucking music. I seen this if Skinnet didn't bring it to me. She brought it to me and I was like, bro. I'm so saying something about this. And you know why I'm making this fucking video? Cause I'm sick and fucking tired of helping motherfuckers in the fucking music. I'm so saying something about this. And you know why I'm making this fucking video? Cause I'm sick and fucking tired of helping motherfuckers in the fucking music industry. And then turning around and fucking my heart. I'm sick. <laughs> Alright, so check it out. There is a news clip. Of hey boy hey gold digger and her, Bruh, He don't say hey boy hey gold digger. <laughs> I mean it, it is what it is. <laughs> uh, fuck. I'm sorry, little Miss Ratchet ass, but you know you a gold digger. You know you are. Partner. Partner? <laughs> What's the right word so I don't get banned on oh. YouTube? <laughs> Alright, so check it out. There is a news clip of Hey Boy Hey Gold Digger and her partner. What's the right word so I don't get banned on YouTube? A recent news clip, might I add. And guess what they're plugging to promote for their new fucking song? You guessed it. Oh, hey, boy. Oh, hell no. Why in the hell are you letting the news plug your new song with the song that I wrote, fucking you petty little bitch? Dude, I'm not mad. This is just straight fucking hilarious. I didn't know I was going to be making some content on Sunday, fucking. We going to church, fucking. Lord have mercy. I'm so I went and watched the news clip and I thought to myself, you know what? If I was hanging on by a leaf on a fucking limb, I'd probably do the same fucking thing. But I'll never be hanging on a leaf on a limb. I'm building a fucking treehouse in this music tree back here, fucking. Until I caught something I don't think anybody caught. Oh, yeah. When they were plugging Hey Boy, Hey Girl on the news and saying my name for clout, like, sh Yeah. I do find it odd that uh, Little Miss Independent, Little Miss, oh, I could drive a lifted truck, I can gut a deer, you know, I can do all this and that. Oh, and I don't need anything from Ryan anymore. I don't need to, you know, clout chase that man. You know what I mean? I can get shit on my own. Hmm. If that were true, then why, as he put it, are you allowing the news to plug your new song along with the song that you did with him and, of course, spewing out his name like nobody's business. Bruh. Bruh. You still a clout chasing gold digger. Little Miss Ratchety ass. Little Miss Queen nothing. 
probably, she probably told them they could. My, my music ears just <laughs> just got a little bit of something. We just caught a little bit of something. You'll see what it is. I'm gonna see if you catch it first. Let's watch this news clip. Now, William is managing and producing up and coming country artist Katie Noel. <laughs> what do you know? Keeper's in the background. A while back, her duo song with Ryan Upchurch called Hey Boy, Hey Girl became number one. Well, I mean, it, uh, fuck, I mean, it must have been the guy grabbing tit teeth, the Southern Land King rapping all that country. So come on back, fuck him on that. <laughs> How fucking lame. You had to plug your new song with my old song because it's the only fucking one that your name's on that ever went to no the number one spot fucking awesome facts that's the only reason why they are linking her new song to that old one because like he said that was the only song that she was on that went to number one i don't even think no offense to adam calhoun but i don't think that, that the uh, song katie did with adam calhoun called catch hell went to number one i don't think it did i could be wrong but i don't think it did some real shit that is something you've been first at you want to know what it is i'll tell you fucking you're probably the first female country artist to date a male country artist and do a song about going to the outskirts to rock each other's worlds then get on facebook and explain to everyone after the fucking song comes out that you're like oh he grabbed my fucking boob how fucking dare him we didn't make a song about that yet did we oh we did oh fuck and you got mad about it what the fuck kind of shit is that you ain't living out your songs, fucking! Is everybody enjoying the church sermon? I knew you would. Ah, uh, yes. Looks like we've made it to my favorite part of the video. The part where I was like, hey, I wonder if you caught this. Check this out. So you hear that song playing, right? Mm -hmm. It was just playing a minute ago. I'll play it again right here. That does sound kind of familiar, even though I haven't heard heard um <clears throat> a certain song in a while. I do remember how it sounds when when it when it opens up. And I'm saying that this song, I don't know, it, it sounds a little familiar. What does that sound like to you, fucking? Listen again. What does that sound like to you, fucking? I don't know about you, but that blankly obviously sounds exactly like... Woohoo! Somebody busted, fucking! It's the same song! <laughs> I mean, fuck, why don't you just, you know, hit up my management and be like, hey, can I pay y'all to... Remix Hey Boy Hey Girl and name it Hey Girl Hey Girl? That'd have been a lot easier. Plus, I mean, how petty, fuckin', how petty is this, fuckin'? How you, how you gonna take the same song that, that I made with you and just like, you know, be like, hey, I can make the same one just for you, <laughs> you know what I mean? That's like dating somebody and giving them the necklace and being like, yo, give me that necklace back. And then being like, hey, I bought this for you. Oh, uh, lame. I mean, look what I made. I made vinyl, it don't sound nothing like that. You know why? Cause it sounds good. In my Better than Hey Boy, Hey Girl, motherfucker. But anyway, let's get back into this news clip, because we ain't done. But now, a first of its kind song is opening a new door in country music. This first song of its kind, it sounds exactly like the last duo she did. <laughs> it's opening brand new doors that have already been opened. <clears throat> what? I didn't say anything. This song, a first of her kind, because she's gay. Not true. Why, are, why is the news saying that? She's not the first gay country singer. The fuck? Call it same-sex relationship. See, told ya. Just, just another way to say gay. Same-sex relationship. <laughs> gay. Gay. There's nothing wrong with being gay, but don't say that this is the first time that something's happened like this when that's a fucking lie. Well, that's what the media does. It's fake news. 
and, and Katie being that, and, and, you know what? I, I find it ironic. Didn't she say in her Instagram video that she was tired of the negativity and of the fake people, but yet she's contributing fake news in the fake news media outlet? Bruh. Anyone who knows music knows that's a lie. All right, Miss Country Music fucking genius. You mean to name you some gay people that are in country music? What about Ty Herndon, who, who sang Living in the Moment in 2014? What about him? What about the gay songwriter in Nashville, Shane McNally? What about him? By the way, you can fact check me on all this shit. What about Brandy Clark? What about Billy Gilman, who came out the same fucking week that Ty Herndon did? What about him? What about the first female ever to come out gay in country music? That's a female! Who I've turned? Tell me who it is! Shelly Wright! You know when she came out of the closet? 2010! A fucking decade ago! Shelly Fairchild! Uh, fucking Cody Allen! Or what about the lesbian couple Brandi Carlisle and Katherine? What was her fucking name? Katherine Shepard, fucking! Again, fake news contribute contribution from a fake girl. Oh yeah, I said it. She is fake as hell. Fake ass, gold digging, clout chasing, ratchety ass. Nate, that's Katie Noel and Autumn Brooke. So, her and I, we wrote this song called Miss Tennessee. Because, mm -hmm. well, she's from Tennessee and she deserves to be Miss Tennessee. I mean, actually, if you want to get technical, Miss Tennessee is Justice Inlow. And she got crowned Miss Tennessee at Austin P in Clarksville. Fogging. So, yeah, that's who Miss Tennessee is. So, now you have uh, Queen Nothing and uh, Miss Nothing. Ooh, there's a perfect match made in, um, I don't know if I want to say made in heaven because I, I feel like I'd be disrespecting heaven when I say that. We'll just say a perfect match made in, um, Hades. Bruh. We're country singers, we're together, and it can be done, and, I mean, we're just changing the way people look at the South. <sighs> You're trying to do something, trying to do something that's already been done numerous times. You're doing it on a track that's already been written to one other time, it sounds like. You're yeah, just because you didn't see this happening a while ago doesn't mean it never happened. It just means that you've been living under a rock for God only knows how long. Trying to sell gayness. I'm just saying. To, like, promote your shit. Like, I don't understand. I don't... I don't... <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Church sermon's over. Adios, fuckings. Hope you have a good day. Or night. <laughs> Alright, y'all. So that was Church with Stealing Her Heart. And, um... I said it. I said this in the last ratchety ass video or last ratchety ass related video. She keeps putting out stupid shit. I'm gonna react to it and give and, and give my two cents. Katie is a walking talking contradiction. She is fake to the core. She's trying to do shit that church said it was already done. She's not the first. Her and uh, Little Miss. Uh, uh, Autumn are um, are not the first, you know, same-sex couple. We'll say. Uh, hopefully, YouTube won't ban my video for saying it like that. Um, Trying to be, you know, respectful over here. Um, but anyway, they are not the first same-sex couple to do country music. Church already pointed out who that was. And they're not the first, you know, gay artist in the country genre. Our man, churches went through a list of artists 
that came out over a decade ago. Well, actually, exactly a decade ago. So, yeah, you're about 10 years too late, Katie. <laughs> oh, man. And then, as I mentioned earlier, she's the one that made that freaking hour-long documentary, which I did watch, and uh, it and it's a miracle how I did not fall asleep through that, uh, knowing how badly I really wanted to. But anyway, <laughs> that's neither here or there. Um... I'm pretty sure she said it in that documentary that um she don't need Ryan. She don't need anything, you know, more from him. She can do shit on her own. She can get shit on her own. But yet, there, there you see on, on their local news, you know what I'm saying? Using, like, letting them spew out the man's name. Letting them play hey boy, hey girl, you know, as a crutch to help assist in promotion of... A remix of Hey Boy, Hey Girl that Katie did with Autumn. I, I, I would say, you know, if I were you, I mean, be prepared for, you know, a class action lawsuit of sorts. Um, but I don't think Ryan, you know, really needs to do all that because I think, I think he's doing pretty well enough to where he doesn't even need that. So, you know, it's whatever to him. And plus, like I said, Katie burned so many bridges with a lot of people. I highly doubt um, that song is going to go anywhere. You know what I'm saying? Hey, look, I really hope she turns around. You know what I mean? All jokes aside, I really hope she she turns around. You know what I'm saying? And uh, really learn from her, her mistakes. Like I said, maybe someday she will. Whether it's the easy way or the hard way, sooner or later she will learn. And hopefully she can, um, you know... Hopefully she can turn her career around on her own. You know what I mean? As an independent artist. And um and still do well. I, I don't wish no ill will on the girl. I just I just feel like, you know what I mean? I don't think, you know, because with all the shit that she's done, that she she's gonna be able to turn things around. But hey, I could be wrong. You know what I'm saying? But hey, I wish her well. You know what I'm saying? I hope she can turn her career around, you know what I'm saying, on her own, like I said. You know what I'm saying? Being that, you know, she's She's independent enough to drive her own lifted truck. She's independent enough to gut a deer. So surely she can be uh, independent enough to, uh, you know, bounce back with her music career. You know what I'm saying? But uh, I guess time will tell uh, on that note. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to leave it with that. You know what I'm saying? Before I say some things I may regret. Um, bruh. Anyway. <laughs> Ah, uh, this shit is funny. But anyways, y'all, uh, let me know how, how y'all feel about this whole situation with the, you know what I'm saying, insights and the feedback in the comment section down below. Uh, let me know if you're feeling this reaction um, with a thumbs up down below. I very much appreciate all of that. And uh, don't forget to follow me, of course, uh, on the gram and uh, Parlor. Of course, my CD Baby Music Store and PayPal are in, in the description down below if you want to help brother out. You know what I'm saying? And also, don't forget to follow me on Spotify. I forgot to promote Spotify in my last, I think my last one or two videos. But anyway, don't forget to follow me on Spotify. You know what I'm saying? Link to that is in the in the description down below. And uh, yeah, if you're new here, uh, welcome. Thank you for your view. Very much appreciate that. And hopefully, uh, I did enough to earn your subscription so you can be part of Jason JV family. We very much love to have you. And. Uh, if you can't support the channel financially, no worries. It's all good. You are still helping out by hitting that subscribe button if you're new here. And, of course, liking and sharing my videos so more eyes can be on the channel. Because teamwork makes the dream work, you best believe. And, uh, yeah, I think I pretty much covered everything. So, with that being said, it is your boy, Jason JV. saying y'all take care, and I'll catch y'all in the next one. Alright? Peace!